Further is warming up, biking becomes a choice of transportation for a lot of people around Bozeman. But that also means it's prime time for bike thieves. The Bozeman Police Department says they've seen a big spike in the number of bicycle thefts over the last six weeks. Children's bikes, mountain bikes, the thieves aren't too picky. But preventing yourself from becoming a target, it's a little bit more simple than you might think. MTN's Caitlin Corbett has the story. Every, every year, every month, every week, um, somebody reports a bike being stolen. So it's something that's pretty consistent in Bozeman. Um, but, you know, it's something that definitely picks up in the summertime. Picks up? might be an understatement. Since April 1st, 29 bikes have been reported stolen in the Bozeman area, worth a total of more than $34,000. The most expensive bike stolen? A whopping $9,000. And most of these thefts point to one location. You know, with our reports, a lot of those reports are downtown. Um, I would know that, you know, in, historically, a lot of them up on campus when there's a lot of students up there, again, they can have some stolen from up there. But ours, a lot of them are downtown because um, there's a lot of people right now using the bikes to go downtown. And the main target, Bozeman police say nearly all of the thefts reported have been bikes that are left unlocked. They just pick it up and walk off with it because mm -hmm. it's not locked? Or right, yeah, they'll, they'll walk up to it, just grab it and right away. Um, so it, it would save a lot right now if we just locked our bikes up. This is one of the many typical bike racks that you'll see in downtown Bozeman. And out of the eight bikes parked here today, only two of them were unlocked. But some say that locking their bike comes down to convenience. Locking it up at home overnight, absolutely. But um, for quick errands, I tend not to. And what if I told you most of the thefts occurring were right here downtown? I'd believe it. I'd definitely believe it. As always, police say if you see something, say something. You can also register your bike with the police department so that if it is stolen, it's easier for them to locate. But protecting yourself from thieves should be as easy as riding a bike. Do it. It's almost like wearing your helmet. A lot of people will have a helmet, but it's like, I was going to mess my hair up or I'm not going to, you know, I'll, I'll do it next time. So locking is, it's the same thing. All of a sudden it's gone. And he's like, oh, I always lock my bike except this time. So make a habit of it. Sergeant Munter also says a lot of thieves will try to pawn those stolen bikes, so registering your serial number can make a big difference. We have that link on our website.